A babies can have normal infantile colic. See, basically, when uh, there is passing of gas and uh, baby evening time, they can develop colic. So, uh, for these babies, after feed, every time burping the baby is very important. These babies also to put them in a prone position and tap them in the back that will also help them and a evening cry which is very common for some babies who are prone for colic and all these babies for them breast milk is the best see mother's milk has gives the best nutrition a baby requires so as soon as the baby is born mother secretes colostrum which has a lot of immunoglobulins which give immunity for the baby Apart from this, a mother's diet, a nutritious diet will help a newborn. So there is no restriction in the mother's feed. A mother can take a lot of vegetables, fruits, lot of green leafy vegetables, nuts, egg, fish, milk, curds. Take a healthy diet. You don't have to take large quantities of you know junk food, but take a healthy diet that will help in a newborn baby's nutrition through the milk. Apart from this, uh, baby's nutrition, uh, in case the baby's weight gain is not adequate, then you will have to consult your pediatrician. Every baby will require a monthly checkup to assess on the baby's weight, on the baby's development, if the mental development is good or no, all these things. And uh, babies can normally develop something called physiological jaundice, which can occur on day three of life. This jaundice can go up or it can start coming down also beyond that. But same jaundice, if it goes very high, it can lead to uh, problems in case where it can affect the brain also. So that is why just don't ignore a jaundice saying, okay, jaundice is normal. So I don't have to see the pediatrician. Better you check so that if it is high, it needs to be treated. Apart from this, uh, some of the mothers uh, will have doubts regarding is my milk sufficient for the baby? So basically it's a mother's natural reflex to secrete milk. So if a baby sucks, the sucking itself is a reflex for milk secretion. So when the mother is feeding the baby, always put the baby in a upright position where you keep the head end up when you feed the baby so that when you lie down and feed the baby babies can aspirate milk so milk can go into the lungs it can lead to problems apart from this you can also have uh, now apart from aspiration pneumonitis you can also have uh, problems where uh, baby can develop ear infections ear pain all these things so always keep the head end up when you feed the baby because this is the best position I know it's very tiring for the mother where every two to three hours you will have to feed the baby so try to sleep in and catch up on your nap whenever your baby is sleeping and uh, basically even a sleeping baby uh, try to wake the baby up and then feed if your baby is sleeping for beyond four five hours you better uh, to continue with either a cycled feed timed cycle in two to three hours gap or demand feed whenever your baby cries and demands for a feed you can feed the baby but every time a baby cries don't put the baby onto your breast so because of crying baby is not always due to feed you need to see whether the baby is comfortable baby is clothed well the temperature is con uh, correct for your baby if the baby has passed urine or motions there are so many reasons for a baby to cry so don't put all your crying babies on to breast for feeding so these are a few tips i will come on with you in the next week we'll discuss further